Okay, guys. I'm recording this to show you that CV hose, what functions as a CV side of the PCV system on your 4.2 Chevy six-cylinder. This is the hose right here. That hose fitting there, that hose clamp, if you take that off and wiggle this hose down, leave it on here. Don't take it off here. Put a good healthy dose of either Berryman's B12 Chem Tool in here or any other carburetor cleaner spray. Just leave it sit for a while. A couple hours would be good, half an hour for sure. You can uh, then take an air hose if you have one. It'd be good if you take your compressor hose with a blower nozzle and blow air down this tube here when you take it. Put your air nozzle inside this tube pointing down and blow it out. Okay, you can repeat this, but every time you do it, you've got to start the engine and clean this out. Not real sure where that goes. I know it goes a passageway somewhere and that winds up with a vacuum of some sort. Anyway, that you want to clean out. There is no mechanical device that modulates the airflow on these vehicles. The crankcase ventilation system is a constant operating system depending upon the vacuum that's generated in the crankcase or the pressure. This hose up on here, where it goes. This is part of it. But basically, the biggest problem you have that shows you if you've got a problem ongoing on your vehicle is if you get a lot of oil here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There it is. Mm, not very good. I think I got my light on. But anyway, that S-shaped hose underneath the air cleaner, or air deadener, you can almost see it right there. Mine's pretty dry. It's only gonna be a little seepage because there's no hose clamps on it and it's just a press fit and it's not very tight at that. But you should not have any mayonnaise inside your cap. Shouldn't be any mayonnaise coming up on your dipstick. If there is, the system's not functioning. Now, it's my thought that most of the problems we have with these vehicles needing to have the throttle body cleaned all the time. Guy writes in, he's got a flat tire. First thing you say is clean your throttle body. Uh, windshield wipers don't work. Clean the throttle body. Um, I think a lot of that needing to clean the throttle body is because this plenum chamber collects that condensate, an oil condensate kind of emulsion that comes up from the crankcase blowing up through this hose here into this clean air chamber and eventually getting sucked into the throttle body. I think that's why they get so dirty all the time. Just my thought, I can't prove that yet. I don't have the problem, so I can't diagnose it if I don't have the problem. Anyway, that's what I promised. Hope that answers a couple questions. Like I said, every time you dose that hose with Berryman's B12 or whatever carburetor spray you're using to clean that out, you've got to go ahead and you've got to uh, start the engine to clear the system out. All right? That's what you need to do. Hope that helps. See you guys later.